Rim Country News brought to you by Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. Same stop, different horses since 1916. And by Terlucas and Brandt CPA PLLC, with a long history of providing quality CPA services right here in Rim Country. On this Wednesday, May 19th, for Tano TV, K Rim Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson with your Rim Country News headlines. An Arizona federal judge has rejected a bid by a San Carlos Apache nonprofit to halt the federal government's land exchange for the Resolution Copper Mine Project, saying that losing the sacred site doesn't amount to, quote, a substantial burden on the group's religion under federal law. Well, Law 360 is reporting U.S. District Judge Stephen P. Logan on Friday denied Apache Stronghold's bid for a preliminary injunction against the U.S. Department of Agriculture in the group's suit over the joint Rio Tinto PLCA and BHP Billiton mine project. The suit claims that the destruction of the Western Apache's sacred land, also known as Oak Flat, would violate their rights under the Religious Freedoms Restoration Act. The judge said, quote, substantial burden under the RFRA means that the government has coerced someone by forcing them to choose between their religion and receiving a government benefit or penalizing them for exercising their religion. And even where land is physically destroyed, the government action must still fall within those two narrow situations to make out a free exercise violation under the law. Well, the court does not dispute, he said, nor can it, that the government's mining plans on Oak Flat will have a devastating effect on the Apache people's religious practices. Those were Judge Logan's words in his order. He went on to say, to that same end, the Western Apache peoples, no doubt, derive great benefits from the use of Oak Flat, at least in the common sense of the word. But, he said, that still does not meet the two categories defining a substantial burden under the RFRA, uh, again, according to the judge. Now, since Oak Flat isn't something the government gave to the Western Apaches, he says, like unemployment benefits, and then took them away because of their religion. And building a mine on the land isn't a civil or criminal sanction under the RFRA. Well, former San Carlos Apache tribal chairman Dr. Wensler Nosi Sr., who is co-founder of Apache Stronghold, said in a statement on Friday that, quote, We are very disappointed, but we are not giving up, and we are excited to appeal to a higher court and to prove our points where we disagree. Well, Apache Stronghold claimed in its January 12th suit against the USDA that there was not enough notice about the project and that it infringes on treaty and religious rights, improperly handles Apache land, and violates the RFRA. Well, according to the complaint, the mining companies gained access to the land after passage of a 2014 military spending bill that included a section added by former Arizona U.S. Senators John McCain and Jeff Flake swapping national forest acreage containing Oak Flat Parcel for private land owned by Rio Tinto and BHP. Well, in other news from around our region, the Tano National Forest is pleased to welcome Freddie Duncan as their new Deputy District Ranger for the Payson Pleasant Valley Ranger District. Duncan started his career on the Angeles National Forest as a seasonal recreational technician in the summer of 2000. Since then, he's been busy. Duncan has served in a variety of agency positions on the Angeles and Los Padres National Forest that include OHV technician, natural resource technician, tree climber, uh, civil culture, uh, fire suppression, wilderness management, wild and scenic rivers management, trails management, spe special uses administration, minerals management, volunteer liaison, and natural resource management. Whether it's enhancing recreation opportunities or timber management, my position is protecting the health of America's public lands and balancing that with supporting local communities, said Duncan. Now, the Tano, he says, is a complex forest, and he says, I'm sure it'll be challenging, but I look forward to working with the staff here on the district and serving the surrounding communities. 
Well, coming up in rim country weather, winds are going to begin to increase this afternoon in a north uh, here in north central Arizona. A late season Pacific storm is expected to bring strong winds, elevated fire weather concerns, and cooler temperatures across much of northern Arizona. We'll let you know what you can expect for the next seven days coming up next. You're watching Rim Country News. Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Jake started out as an Arizona stage stop way back in 1916, and folks have been stopping here ever since. Jake's also has been famous as a popular stopping spot for travelers headed to Rim Country or Roosevelt Lake. But as more people discover this historic stop, more and more, it becomes the destination. It was even featured in the 2008 movie Jake's Corner and later featured at the Sedona Film Festival. Ice cold beers from the tap, imported or specialty beers, a generously stocked full bar, and great food that keeps you wanting to come back again and again. Enjoy a game of pool inside or step out and enjoy the covered patio and outdoor bar with live entertainment and much more. We hope to see you soon at one of the most historic stopping spots in Arizona. Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Hello, this is Brian Bowman. We have Pace and Tire Pros and Automotive. And one of the best things about having a business in town is the local community. Uh, we found Terlucas and Brandt to do our taxes. Amy's been a critical component for our business to be successful. We are very thankful for them and their professionalism. So if you're looking to have somebody do your taxes and you want to find somebody good that's willing to work with you, Amy is awesome. Terlucas and Brandt is who we suggest. Well, taking a look now at your Rim Country 7-day weather forecast, it looks like uh, winds are going to be uh, pretty much seasonal this afternoon with the typical breezes from the southwest. Conditions begin to deteriorate across northern Arizona early Thursday as a long wave trough digs into the west coast. Strong southwest winds with critical fire weather conditions will be the main impacts Thursday, most likely continuing into Friday. Showers and isolated thunderstorms are possible, just about a 15 to 20 percent chance for eastern portions of Arizona on Friday. However, most locations will remain dry for the duration of this storm. As for those winds, well, confidence continues to increase in a prolonged period of strong southwest winds for much of northern Arizona Thursday and Friday. Forecast ensemble guidance is on board with the scenario with most of the expected gusts in the 40 to 55 mile an hour range for both days as the low pressure system remains in place over much of western half of the country thanks to a strong high pressure system out in the east. As of now, high resolution guidance indicates that Friday should be the windiest day with possible downsloping effects along the eastern slopes of the Mugion Rim. Because of the increased confidence, the National Weather Service has now issued wind advisories for Thursday through Friday for much of northern Arizona. Saturday looks to be gusty as well, but not quite as strong in comparison with the ensemble guidance in the 30 to 40 mile an hour range as of this morning. Normal temperatures are forecast for today and Thursday before becoming 5 to 10 degrees below average for Friday and Saturday. A warming trend looks to take place starting Sunday and into next week as the low pressure lifts towards the northeast. As for next week, well, a benign weather pattern is likely with average temperatures, typical diurnal breezes, and no sign of any significant precipitation. Well, meanwhile, highs and lows around rim country today, well, they should be looking something like this. Here in Payson, under sunny skies, we're forecast to hit 83 for a high today and then drop down to a low tonight near 54 degrees. Up on top of the rim, our friends in Forest Lakes and up at Clintswell, both will see 72 as their forecast high today. Tonight, they'll cool off to a fairly mild 45 up there for a low. Down in the deserts of Tano Basin today, well, they're going to heat up to a toasty 94 degrees for a high today. And then tonight, things down there, well, they should uh, only cool off to really about uh, 63 degrees for a low. That's not as warm as Phoenix, though. Down in Phoenix at Sky Harbor International Airport, well, it looks like they're going to be back into triple digits today. 
Their forecast high, according to the National Weather Service, should be 101 degrees and a very mild low tonight, only dropping down to about 73. And that's what's happening around Rim Country. For Tano TV, KRIM Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson. Make it a great Hump Day Wednesday. Thank you.